today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a dialogue system with a typing effect, with a viewport frame image just like the one in the video and with a colorful title that can be any color that you want and any name that you want. Before we start, make sure you guys are already subscribed, make sure you already like the video so we can keep growing and we can keep creating more great content for everybody. Okay, so first thing we're gonna need guys, we're gonna need to set everything up. So for this tutorial, I actually created a tutorial pack which is called Dialog Tutorial Pack. So you're gonna go ahead and grab that from the link in the description and you're gonna put it inside your workspace. So now that we have our folder in the workspace, we're gonna go ahead and see what's inside. So we can see we have the rich text module, we have the bacon model, and we have the main GUI. You're gonna go ahead and grab the main GUI and you're gonna put it inside your starter GUI. After that, we're gonna go ahead and grab the bacon model and we're gonna put it inside the workspace. Then we're gonna go ahead and go to the replicated storage. We're gonna create an object and we're gonna add another folder. We're gonna name this folder Models. Then we're gonna go ahead and grab the rich text and we're gonna put it inside our Models folder. We're gonna delete the tutorial pack folder. And the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go to the replicated storage. We're gonna create another object and we're gonna be creating more folders. So the next folder is going to be called sounds. There we go. Then we're going to go ahead and create another folder and we're going to name this one remote. So now we have all the folders that we're going to need. Now we're going to go to the main GUI and we're going to go ahead and open the dialog script. So in this script you're gonna notice we have all the events that take care of managing our dialogue. So we have the high dialogue event, we have the create dialogue event, and we also have the set dialogue image event. So at the top you're gonna see we have the remote events we're gonna need. So what we're gonna be doing inside our remotes folder, we're gonna go ahead and create a remote event and we're gonna be naming it just like our remote events in the script. So we're gonna copy and paste each one and basically we will have three remote events, one for each one of the ones we have in the script. So we're gonna copy this one to copy. We're gonna go ahead and paste it. We're gonna create one more. There we go. We're going to copy again and we're going to paste it. There we go. Okay guys, so the good news is that we have almost everything ready to make it work. So we have all the folders we're going to need. So now the next thing we're going to be doing, we're going to go ahead and go to the server script service and we're going to be creating our main script. So we are going to be inserting a script and then we're going to go ahead and rename it to main script, just to be clear. Okay, so now we have our main script. With this script, we're going to be sending information to our dialogue script. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and grab the remote events because they are going to be the same. We're going to copy it and we're going to go ahead and paste it in our main script. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and create a wait and we're gonna make it 10 seconds. This is just so we can wait for the player to load. After that, we're gonna go ahead and create our first event, which is gonna be set dialog image event, and we're gonna fire it to all the clients. So this event has two parameters. It has the model name, and it also has the color of the title. So we're gonna put the name of the model. It has to be exactly the same as the, as the model. Then we're gonna do comma and we're gonna do color tree dot new. This is gonna create a new color and we can go ahead and choose any color we want. Let's go ahead and do blue. So that is gonna set up our title and our image. So next thing we need to do, we're gonna go ahead and create our second event, which is gonna be create dialogue event. And we're gonna go ahead and leave it blank because we only wanna see if the dialogue pops up so we're going to leave it like that and we're going to go ahead and test it. So 
So there is sour bacon model. We're just gonna wait for the dialog and there it is. It is blank because we have not added any dialog yet, but we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. Okay, so now after our blank line, we're gonna go ahead and add a really small weight just so the text in our next create dialog doesn't immediately start. This time we're gonna actually add text, so we're gonna do hello. Let's just keep it simple for now. And we're gonna go ahead and add another wait. This time the wait is gonna be five seconds. We want the character to wait five seconds before creating the next dialog line. So we can copy and paste it if you want. And this time let's add something different. Let's do I am a bacon hair. Oh, I am a bacon hair. There we go. Then we're gonna wait another five seconds and we're gonna create one more line. This time, let's say something like, let me just delete this first, nice to meet you. Okay, so we kind of have like a dialogue now. We have a couple of lines, so let's go ahead and test it. We wait for the dialogue again. So there it is, hello. Then we wait five seconds. I'm a bacon here. We should be waiting another five seconds and nice to meet you. Okay, our dialogue is working perfectly. Now that we have a dialogue, there is just one more thing we gotta do. We're gonna go ahead and add one more wait, wait five seconds. And then after we're finished, we're gonna do another event which is called high dialogue event. We're gonna fire it to all clients. And basically what this is gonna do, it's gonna hide the dialogue when you when the character is done talking so we're gonna test it and we're gonna see if it works so let's just wait for the dialogue one more time hello I'm a bacon here we wait a little bit more nice to meet you this is the last line then we wait five seconds and <laughs> there we go it perfectly hides the dialogue a congratulations guys we have concluded the tutorial on how to make a dialogue system with a viewport frame image with a colorful title and with a typing effect so congratulations guys remember to like the video remember to subscribe if you haven't so we can keep rowing and we can keep making more cool tutorials let me know what other tutorials you would like to see in the comments also if you want the file of this tutorial you gotta join the membership you gotta click that join button below and you will get access to it I'll see you guys next time, okay? Peace.